How does the amount of carbon affect weldability of steels? In general as the carbon content increases the weldability, how easily welded decreases. In other words, the higher the carbon content, the more likely special procedures such as preheating, interpass, temperature control and post-heating are necessary. The following chart groups carbon content, typical uses in weldability. Group, low carbon steel, content, 0.15% maximum, typical usage, welding electrodes, rivets and nails softer easily formed shapes, weldability, excellent weldability with all processes usually no preheat interpass or post heat necessary, mild steel plain carbon group, Content, 0.15 to 0.30%, typical usage, plate, angle, and bar stock for general fabrication, mild steel accounts for a large segment of welded parts of industry where good plasticity and ductility is required. Weldability, readily weldable with all processes without preheat, interpass, or post-heat except for very thick section. Group, medium carbon steel. Content, 0.30 to 0.50%. Typical usage, used for machine parts, gears, and where parts may be hardened by heat treating. Weldability, parts may be readily welded with all process if preheat, interpass, temperature controls, and post-heat recommendations are followed. Use low hydrogen electrodes and appropriate filler wire. Heat treating after welding may be applied. Group, high carbon steels, content, 0.50 to 1.0%, typical usage, springs, dies, railroad track, many tools, band saws, and knives. Also used where a sharp edge is required, weldability, usually require preheat interpass, temperature control and post heat. Special heating and cooling procedures in a furnace such as normalizing may be required to restore the properties of the metal after welding. High carbon electrodes designed for welding tool steels are the specific alloy readily available from welding supply companies.